Hello friends, welcome to a fresh new episode of our channel RG Innovations. If you have not subscribed already, please subscribe to our channel, click on the bell button and select all to get all future notifications of our video uploads. In my previous video, I have shown you how to use a multimeter, how to check different components and how to measure different values with all the settings. But today I am going to discuss a feature of a multimeter of these types of multimeter which nobody says in their tutorial. Nobody wants to discuss about that. I do not know why but everybody skips that feature of the multimeter. That is this wave signed function. I told in my previous video that this is a square wave generator function. But what does that mean? What actually happens? What to test with this function? I will show you today with practical example. So first set the multimeter to the square wave wave function. Now I am going to touch the pins. Hold your breath. I am just going to touch the pins at the count of 3. 3, 2, 1, 0. That was just for fun. Actually this does not happen. This function is used not to measure anything but to generate a square wave frequency. Usually in other multimeters, in costlier multimeters like this, this multimeter also has a function like this. This is not graphically indicated. It says Harj 8Z means Harj. It says 2K and 20K. So this multimeter is able to measure the frequency up to 20 kilohertz. But this multimeter does not measure frequency. Instead, it generates a square wave. Here in the screen, it does not show anything. Nothing happens on the screen. It only generates an output at about 3 voltage peak. So how should we know that this generates a frequency? In this multimeter of mine, it has a feature to measure frequency. So I will set it to 2K. That means 2000 Hz and turning on the multimeter. Now this multimeter is set to square wave generator and I will connect the red probe with the red probe and black probe with the black probe. So it shows it is generating a frequency of 56 Hz. Do not touch both the pins of the multimeter. So the frequency will be zero then because it is neutralizing the frequency when we touch with both of our hands. We should not touch with both of our hands and we can see it is generating a frequency of 56 Hz. It is a fixed frequency. We cannot change it for this multimeter. That is a text only representation of the frequency. Now if you want to see this with an oscilloscope, I will also show you that. I do not have any professional oscilloscope or any hardware oscilloscope. Instead, I have one oscilloscope that I have built with Arduino, a PC oscilloscope. I will show with that only. Today, I am not going to much detail about the oscilloscope. I will only show it the frequency with this. But in my next video, I will show how to build the oscilloscope and how it functions in a detailed way. So I request you to please subscribe to my channel so that you get all the notifications of my video uploads. So I am connecting it to the oscilloscope input and connecting the common pin with the black probe. Now let's check what is happening in the screen. Here is the oscilloscope screen. It looks like a DSO or digital storage oscilloscope. First we need to connect the oscilloscope software with the Arduino. So we are pressing connect here. It's connected and we can see some graph is moving there. But it's too big for us to understand. So I am pressing auto scale. Now you see as soon as I pressed auto scale, it's showing nice square wave pulses and it's also showing the specification here. It's showing 56 or 57 hertz frequency, 56.8 an average of 56. Peak to peak voltage is 3.20. We can see the peak voltage here. Voltage average is 1.6. Voltage maximum is 3.2 and voltage minimum is zero. So it is generating somewhere around 56 hertz of frequency. So this is a feature of these multimeters. Usually this feature or this function is not of much use, but this function also exists in a pocket multimeter DT830D model. This is the commonest form of multimeter as I said in my previous video. And this is what the square wave function does. So I hope you like the video and if you like the video, please hit the like button, share it with your friends and please do subscribe to my channel RG Innovations. Up to this for today, we will meet again in a new video. Till then bye bye take care have a nice time thank you for watching